Popko, what to you? All right. Thank you, um, everyone, for uh, just attending. Thank you again for the warm welcome. I'm excited to be here, excited to just uh, give you guys some tips on um, for the marketplace and how to manage that moving forward for Q4. And so without, with that being said, I'd like to just go over uh, today's agenda. So we'll be taking a look at uh, what happened in 2016 within the industry and specifically with Newegg. And uh, after that, we'll, we'll actually want to take a look at how this uh, what we learned from 2016 really sets us up for this uh, for this year and what we should be expecting for 2017 as well. Uh, after that, we'll spend um, a sizable time, a chunk of our time, just going over um, strategy and practical steps um, a seller like yourself can take um, in light of Q4 and uh, how those tactics expand, uh, extend beyond uh, Q4 and afterwards. And then we'll have a Q&A at the very end. Uh, again, throughout the presentation, do feel free to um, just submit your uh, Q&A questions, and we'll do our best to answer um, as many as possible at the conclusion of the presentation. All right, so the first thing we want to look at within this playbook of sorts is what happened in 2016. It's, it's important for us to understand um, what's going on, and it sets the stage up for 2017. Uh, for Newegg specifically, our third-party sales have been growing. Uh, we saw that growth at 40% year-over-year, and we grew specifically at 41% uh, percent last year, Q4. And what we found during this time period, which I think will be beneficial for each of you here, is that we are seeing different emerging categories across Newegg. And we what we're finding is we're still strong in our consumer electronics and computer hardware, but additional categories are growing as an extension by nature of a tech-focused marketplace. And so technology and gaming, technology and drones, smart home electronics, personal transportation, even car electronics with regards to dash cams, head units, jump starters, even GPS. So we're seeing a, a plethora of different categories growing as a result um, from last year, and it's indicative that uh, as tech becomes more ubiquitous across different um, products, um, that is helpful for sellers who carry those products as it uh, focuses on, on tech. And so that is one thing that we've learned, um, especially um, as we are branching out into uh, these new areas. Uh, STEM, as those for you who are familiar in the education space, STEM toys is a popular one as well. What we found as a whole within the industry is that a lot of the Black Friday sales are actually starting before that Thanksgiving week. And uh, what we mean by that is obviously promotions are happening earlier. Um, and we're, accom we're accounting for that as well. And so at the conclusion of this webinar, if you're interested in finding out uh, what we're doing in, with regards to promotions, you can uh, feel free to uh, contact us um, and we'll talk more later. Uh, one of the things that we're also finding is uh, shipping um, is getting more and more robust. And be as a result of that, uh, more people feel confident that they can shop during the holiday season and, be and expect to receive that item within the two to three day time frame. And so the ability is to ship, there's greater confidence in retailers now. And one thing that eMarketer notes is that also there is growth. They're expecting a uh, 15 to 16% growth for this uh, 2017, so that's good. So this is really the lay of the land for 2017, uh, 2017's holiday. And by nature, this, this, these kind of principles are going to extend into the 2018 year as well. And so I would just want you guys to uh, get an idea of what the lay of the land is first. Now, what are the table stakes? What is it going to take to actually um, see some success here? What should I do to uh, get myself ready? Well, many of you probably have already highlighted uh, key holiday dates. I have put it here. Uh, the 23rd through uh, the 27th of November is what we call uh, the C5 or the uh, Cyber 5 because that really kicks off the season. But like I said, throughout November and even through December, more and more people are shopping earlier or at least they're beginning their research. So uh, we'll actually cover some of, uh, some of the things that you need to do uh, to prep for that in the uh, coming slides. 
The window of opportunity, this is where um, a lot of people are, will be buying and shopping between the 23rd and 17th. And then you have those last minute shoppers. If you're going to be shipping products uh, last minute, you do want to be mindful of shipping. If you don't have a uh, fulfillment partner that can help get those uh, products in on time, uh, that's going to uh, become uh, problematic potentially as it disrupts the customer's uh, buying experience. And you always want to make the best impression as it comes to the holiday um, because that's what people are going to uh, remember. Um, if they remember, they, they usually remember the ones where uh, they're not getting their products right away, right? So be mindful of that. What we're seeing um, in terms of shipping is a big uh, component here is 73% of holiday 16 orders included free shipping. Um, free shipping was the first thing, and then you also want to consider how to expedite that. So free and fast is the name of the game for this season, and so we do have a solution uh, for that uh, for you guys. But the table stakes really is understand what the dates are so you can start planning around that. And so before we jump on to the next slide, I do want to uh, just get your guys' thoughts on uh, your own personal shopping um, behaviors because what you guys do, you want to uh, understand that that's probably what your customers are doing as well. So you should be seeing a, short, uh, a poll launching uh, shortly here. Okay. So the question as follows, uh, when do you typically do your own holiday, uh, personal holiday shopping? So feel free to uh, just participate uh, during the poll. I will go ahead and just um, look, provide the commentary. Many of you so far are doing it days before. Um, so that's, uh, again, that's one thing you're going to have to look into is do I have the uh, shipping and the customer service to accommodate um, potentially customers who, who do that? Um, some of you here, a third of you are looking at uh, the month before, um, which is good. And we'll actually address um, why a month before, how uh, you as a seller can address those customers, uh, especially those who are shopping a month before. So if you haven't voted, feel free to, uh, to vote. I'll put it, leave it up here for another uh, five uh, seconds here, and then I'll go ahead and close it, and then we'll jump back um, here. Okay, and so one of the things that I do want to mention is one of the questions I've had before um, is, is ship by Newegg required during the holiday? Uh, one thing I do want to say, it's not required, but it's highly recommended as many as we've reiterated that uh, shipping is a big component when it comes to the holidays. So I'll go ahead and close this poll now, and then we'll jump on to the next slide here. So we've learned at least some of the key dates that we're mindful of. So what's Newegg's demographic? Really, this is just a snapshot of um, the Newegg customer, um, affluent, and they are tech savvy. So they're shopping on desktops, they're shopping on their smartphones. They, they are uh, tech savvy. And so when it comes to tech-related items, uh, they do take a, they do uh, research. They do, they are diligent there. This is basically a, a segmentation of our uh, customers here, and what we're finding is, as you can see, Newegg's diverse customer segment, it offers sellers different opportunities that's not necessarily always deal-driven, for example. Um, although for uh, the holiday, for Q4 specifically, um, deal-driven products will be the main driver, and so you'll be dealing with that segment there. But be mindful of um, also other products that you, you're, the, that you may be able to pitch to. In this case, DIY, um, gamers, B2B, we have that sector as well, and uh, digital uh, lifestyle, polished uh, buyers, some of those are things that you want to uh, be mindful of as well. All right, and so a few things here, as you can see with this animated GIF here, the, the main point I want to get across with this GIF is that you need to be ready to set up the blocking and tackling. Otherwise, uh, what's going to end up happening is you're not going to be able, you're not going to find some success there. And so the main thing here is what do we need to do to set this up? Prioritize your top selling SKUs. Uh, now is not the time to go ahead and try to list everything if you have not already. If you know your top performers, you should start listing them and getting them ready for um, season. 
try try not like I said try don't try to sell everything be strategic in what you're doing um, that's the big thing targeted and strategic is what you want to do and if you have brands actually branded retailers are a great um, example you can take a look at what they're doing as it comes to design as to what they're promoting what they're calling out because they've already done their research and they understand what are the hot selling ticket items okay and then the biggest thing here is ensure your content is optimized. Whether you're a brand or a reseller with multiple products, you want to make sure that you optimize your content listing because for, I believe, 33% of you shop a month before. What's going to grab your attention really is what the content looks like. So that's the window that you guys want to uh, present your best foot forward in this case um, because you have those uh, customers who are going to be reviewing things, doing their research, and if they're not able to get the information they need on your listing, it's going to be very difficult to convert down the road. So we're actually going to take a look at what this specific brand and any reseller really can take advantage of uh, when it comes to uh, setting up your product listing and optimizing it. One is you want to have a detailed product title. Um, you probably want to highlight um, the manufacturer or the product and one key feature. And uh, DJI is a great example of that. And be mindful, this is an example of what um, the drone category did last year. And drones was not a big category for Newegg. But because we've had uh, um, sellers who took advantage of optimizing their content, that actually um, developed the category. And so we're using this as a case study here. So detailed product title. You want more than one photo. Um, you want them to be high res and detail. And we have some tools that we can uh, we can share with you as well. Um, and then you also this section here, uh, the bullet point section. This is an area of improvement uh, in this case because you want to highlight other features, uh, features that can't be put in the product title. You can put them in the bullet point description there. And so this is something uh, really I'm going to make a point of emphasis is that the product content listing is the bedrock where everything else is built on. So all the marketing and logistics services really go to waste if your product content listing doesn't capture, engage, and create that emotional connection with the consumer, driving them to convert. And so this is a big point of emphasis here. And one of the things here is this is just the extension of the overview, uh, what's available. And so if you're, if you, like I said, if you're already selecting a few of those products and you know which ones you, you want to optimize but you're unsure how, we are offering A-plus content services, which you can take advantage of, um, and we'll be able to optimize your listing uh, similar to this here. One thing I do want to highlight as well is um, this red box area here. I know it's uh, partially difficult to see, but we also post related articles and reviews done by our in-house team. And that serves as a, another way for educating the customer um, so that they, it validates exactly what the product listing is saying. So it's just uh, putting content, uh, more and more content um, that's accessible to the customer helps them make that buying decision. And so we can assist in that um, as well if you're interested. One of the things I mentioned before was, okay, um, how do I optimize the, um, the images here. So this is another uh, example of what DJI did here, the high resolution imagery. And so this was A plus content, but this is specifically uh, using the uh, featured map section for the images. This is above the fold and essentially you see all these different icons and I blew up the uh, play button here and you can embed videos, you can embed um, certain features um, that are highlighted on the product listing, but now they, they can be accessed through the product image. And that's a great way of keep, uh, engaging people above the fold so they, have, they don't have to necessarily scroll, but they can get all the relevant information. And we're able to offer that uh, service as well. So you can inquire um, as to how you can get started with that. And so we are trying to uh, offer as many services to help you guys optimize that content, um, especially for the holiday. And once you optimize it, it lives there. So. Um, that's one thing, it, it, it's evergreen, it, and you can build a real estate on that. Okay, so before I jump on to the more practical aspect of things, I do want to launch another poll just to gauge um, some of the major hurdles here, so you should see that shortly. 
And the poll really reads, uh, what, are, what major hurdles do you face when selling on marketplaces? Um, and then we'll try to best address those things during, um, during the rest of the webinar. And so this is one of those where we want to find out uh, what struggles do you guys have? And so feel free to just participate um, through it, and then I'll, I'll, tr I'll try my best to highlight and address some of those things here. So we'll go ahead and just get that over. I know one of the biggest things during the holidays is uh, integration is a big component uh, where people struggle with, especially if it's last minute. Um, shipping is another one, and additional marketing. Um, perhaps all of the above. Um, that might be one of those. Um, I know shipping is a big thing, it seems like, um, and integration. So I do want to cover that um, later on. All right, so thank you again. It looks like it's going to be uh, shipping is the main one here. Um, fees and marketplace fees and commission. Yeah, I, I understand that that's uh, one thing as well. Marketing, I know it's not up here, but I know during the Q4 season, that's one thing that people have mentioned. So. I'm going to go ahead and close this poll because the next part actually uh, sets us up for, this poll sets us up for the next part of the uh, presentation. Page four of this playbook really means being seen equals more red zone attempts, means more shots on goal, means more attempts to get conversion. And so one of the big things that we had mentioned before is how do I get more content? How do I get more experience? Exposure, and how do I address those who are looking for content early because they're researching and later on they'll, they'll convert during the November and December time frame. Consider getting products reviewed if you, if you have exclusives. The more content, the better. And this is really to help those people who are searching months before or they need to do the research, especially when it comes to a a category they may be unfamiliar with. Uh, for example, STEM, the science, technology, engineering, mathematics category, uh, those type of toys as they're emerging, many of them are, many customers are asking, so what is it, how does it work? If you have those products, consider submitting them for products, getting them reviewed. Uh, target and, and be targeted and strategic with your social media. You use it early and often. And we can support uh, some of that, those outlets as well within Newegg. But if you have your own, if you're a reseller and you have your own social media accounts or your brand, uh, start early. Find out what are those products that your customers care for. Um, host a giveaway. See what people would like to, um, to shop for during the holidays. It's better to get there, get out in front, and then you'll be able to uh, curate the right products. Um, one of the things here for a reseller is what's the tactical roadmap when it comes to the holidays and even moving forward? How do, how, what do I do um, as it relates to Newegg? Well, the first thing really is during this time frame, you want to secure the inventory quantities. Take a look. You looked at, okay, this is my portfolio. I know which, which products are my hot ticket items. What I'm going to do then is I need to secure those inventory quantities. Then I need to look at, okay, what has the pricing been like? Um, there are multiple tools out there where you can look at um, what that pricing has looked like over the past uh, few months and what it's trending now because you want to be competitive. You don't necessarily have to be always the lowest price. You can be the lowest price for a certain time frame, but you want to stay competitive. That's the point. You want to stay competitive. Then the next thing is get in touch with our folks here and coordinate those campaigns. Coordinate the outside marketing channels, and by that, when we're able to see and find success on those email campaigns, it signals to our internal team here at Newegg that it's ready to be um, exposed on a broader scale, meaning homepage, um, and additional banners and additional campaigns can be supported because we're seeing a demand for those goods, and so. Um, we do have, um, in this next slide, I'm actually going to show um, something we recently launched to support um, that ability to send post-purchase and post-marketing um, here, and that will be on the next slide. From a brand tactical um, standpoint, if you have those project exclusives, you do want to look at, okay, well, how do I get my content reviewed by your team? You want to drive that awareness, educate your consumers early, 
and then get them to see, oh, okay, this is something I am interested in. That's the first part. You're addressing the, the top part of the funnel. And then again, it follows the same suit. Let me get on some email campaigns and outside marketing and then um, find out if that's successful, then that gives me leverage for homepage placement on New Egg. Um, the reason why we start with email campaigns and outside marketing is because within those channels, we, those are our most loyal customers and they are subscribed to our email um, list and they're looking for those type of products. So um, if we see that there's wide reception, then it makes sense for us to start promoting it on a broader spectrum as well. So like I had mentioned, uh, one of the big things here that Newegg is doing that's different now is we are offering additional tools for sellers as it relates to marketing and logistics um, and even just having a campaign set up. And so we've recently launched this elite program here and what you get uh, between, so the standard listing is there, between the professional enterprise listing here, you actually will get a lot more. Now for the professional, you'll get that dedicated account manager who's going to be able to handhold you and um, work with you and coordinate these things. You'll get the premium seller store uh, front, which I'll showcase in the next slide. And then you'll have several uh, marketing programs and campaigns that can be tailored to your fitting. Uh, depending on what uh, you want to do as a seller. And that can be um, your account manager will be able to help you set that up. Um, one of the things also is Premier, uh, Premier Seller Program. Premier, in a sense, is um, a subscription program for customers. So those who are considered Premier members, uh, they can, they'll look at um, what are the products that are ship, uh, shipping through Premier, um, what are those products that are categorized, and they're more likely to uh, be reoccurring buyers. So if you are a premier seller, you'll be marketing to um, a group of folks who are more likely to convert. Um, and then the post-purchase email is actually going to be available for the enterprise uh, folks here who sign up for that. And essentially what the enterprise program does is it offers you that, again, that post-purchase. So in the event that a customer purchased an item from you um, in these next coming weeks, let's say for Black Friday, they purchased something. Um, and then in December, you want to be able to ping them again and say, hey, it looks like you've purchased this in the past. Um, in addition to that, here are other things customers have bought. Then you can market it. You can give them um, a, cure, a specific promo code, for example, if you wanted to do that, but whether it's single item or uh, store-wide. And so that would actually be um, applicable to both resellers and brands. And you'll be, it gives you that uh, additional engagement um, to hit your customers and say, hey, come back. We thank you for your business. And you kind of build that rapport. And we're finding that more and more people are looking for that. Uh, many of you have indicated that shipping is a, a one big hurdle. So if you're looking for a fulfillment center that can get that two to three day shipping uh, fulfillment time and help you increase um, your chances of winning the buy box within New Egg, then uh, opting in for a professional or enterprise can certainly help because we will discount those services um, in addition to that. So uh, these are this is a new rollout. Again, this is uh, something that we're finding more and more sellers are in need of because they, they need that additional exposure, the additional logistics arm, plus they want to be able to, to contact their customers again um, in the event that they are able to promote uh, something to those customers. So it's, it's highly uh, data-driven in that sense. So like I mentioned, these are examples of the premium storefront if you opt in for Elite, and then the editorials, and then some of the social campaigns uh, that could be part of um, what the discussion may be with, between your account managers. And they'll, they'll work that out. They really want to just look at uh, what you guys need um, in order to uh, find some success. General merchandise, like I mentioned, the email campaigns is really the, the starting point if you're trying to figure out exactly what the success is like uh, for a certain product. So if you're within the general merchandise space, we have those emails, the consumer electronics, automotive, and the home um, improvement categories, and these are just snapshots of that. Now on the home page, let's say you find success on, the, um, on those emails, the home page is now uh, prime real estate, especially during those uh, key, uh, key highlighted dates I mentioned before. You have the spotlights, you have the leaderboard banners. A number of campaigns will be on the homepage 
And for those of you, um, recently just sent out a newsletter indicating what those campaigns are and what those dates are. So check your inbox, get, get a hold of us, and um, our merchandisers and our account management team can go ahead and start planning your campaigns out based on your product portfolio there. So really, what are the next steps you need to take uh, and beyond uh, Q4? Uh, really, now is take a look at what you guys did for 2016. Uh, what did you learn? What products did well? What were some of the hiccups um, that you want to avoid for this holiday 2017? Then you want to look at what products are trending, uh, what products are um, doing well at the, in the market right now, and really take a look at what your competitors are promoting on different uh, marketplaces, whether that's Newegg or elsewhere, find out what they're promoting, and then see if you have those items. You have enough time still to play around and test um, and see what products are going to, um, to do well. And you, might, you probably want to take a look at uh, the traffic as well and where, the, where that kind of traffic is coming from, whether it's through um, your product listing or through affiliates or even um, Google PLA, for example. And those are all areas in social media. Those are all areas you want to see uh, if your product is receptive uh, to the market, and we can support in those areas as well. Um, next step then is once you figure that out, optimize your content listing and your storefront early. Get that done. Uh, because it's, once it, the holiday uh, kicks off, it's going to be really hard to keep up if you're managing so many listings. So you want to be sure you're optimizing a few of your home run uh, hitters, not necessarily everything, if you have not already. Then the last thing is you, you want to consider fulfillment arrangements. Get that inventory early. Make sure that you have a fulfillment um, infrastructure in place to meet the demand. If you don't and you're going to be using standard free shipping, that's fine, but understand you're going to, need to, um, you're going to have to operate within uh, dates because the big thing here is you want to drive a, a really good customer buying experience. Um, if you're going to be looking to expedited uh, free shipping, for example, and you want to try to win the buy box within Newegg or increase your chances there, we do have ships by Newegg. We do have additional services that uh, can be discounted should you opt in for Elite and we can help you with that, um, with setting that up. It operates in that similar fashion to FBA. Um, and then finally, once you get all of that blocking and tackling set up, coordinate your promotional campaigns. Um, like I had mentioned, we did uh, indicate, uh, sent, sent out an email newsletter yesterday indicating all those dates, those key promotional dates, and uh, find out uh, from your category and your merchandising team how you can take advantage of email, paid marketing, social media, homepage placements, and if you're opting in for a lead, they can help you with the post-purchase and uh, what that entails as well. Okay? So I know we covered um, basically a high-level view of just the strategy and then the um, practical steps that you can take uh, following. Um, again, um, I'm going to go ahead and field some questions. So if you have any uh, questions that I can't answer during this uh, Q&A session, um, feel free to email us here and just include uh, the subject title there. Um, so I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to actually go ahead and take a look at some of the questions uh, that are coming in. And so the first one here is, uh, what requ requirements do I need to meet in order to participate in Ships by Newegg services? Great question. So um, you can actually refer to our uh, microsite. Um, www.newegg.com uh, forward slash sellers. And then under uh, services, there should be a ship by Newegg tab. And th there will be extensive detail as to what the, those requirements are. Um, really, the big requirements are um, within the, the, uh, the sizing, the dimensions, and the weight of the product. Um, so if you have oversized uh, products, there, there are going to be uh, things that you need to configure there. But if it's your typical standard size, really then all you really need to do is indicate that you want to opt in for ships by Newegg. Um, and you can do that in your seller portal and allocate that inv inventory. And then you want to send that over uh, to us as well. Uh, one thing that I did not get to mention is um, if you're looking to even do global transactions um, during the holiday, we recently have launched Newegg uh, International shipping program. 
And essentially, it, it acts as a freight forwarder for you. And so if you get an international order, what happens then is you can actually send that order to one of Newegg's warehouses and will fulfill that international order. All you really need to do then is pay for that freight forwarding. And this is where um, Newegg International Shipping Program comes into play because that's for free. And we can actually go ahead and handle it. You just got to send it over to us and you can use the shipping label services. And so one of the things here that you guys need to um, be mindful of is for ships by Newegg, it's, uh, that's an all-encompassing program. It's not just the forward logistics um, that you'll get and the shipping uh, and whatnot, but you'll also um, get the customer service. So in the event that the customer has a question about the product, um, then you won't have to field it immediately. Our internal team will field that customer service. So will actually add, as, act as an extension on your behalf. Uh, so that's another great thing that comes with um, SBN. Okay? So does Newegg enable HTML listings for product description content? Great question there. Um, at the moment, it's limited uh, in terms of what you can do for the HTML and the product description area. Um, and that's that's for purposes of just controlling the, um, the listing so that uh, we know that we our, our internal team uh, understands that we're QA, they're QAing that, so they want to be sure that the listings isn't uh, fraudulent, for example, and so that's how we combat uh, counterfeit. So um, there is limited HTML functionality as a seller um, on your behalf there, um, and so that's why we are offering um, A-plus content um, merely for 60 bucks if you just want the standard, but if you're looking to integrate that uh, touch point service on the uh, product imagery, um, that's 250, but that, that essentially lives forever. So you can do it yourself if that's what you're looking to do on the product listing. Um, there are best practices and we have found sellers, um, there are many, many sellers who have found success in doing that themselves, um, but it's limited uh, functionality as it uh, relates to uh, HTML. And so be mindful of that, but if you want to integrate uh, imagery, um, high-res images, or even videos, um, we'll, that will actually go through our in-house team. Okay? Um, an additional question I know that was asked was, um, what else? What do I need to do beyond what's listed here? Um, and I'll recap. The biggest thing really is optimization managing the inventory and uh, being, being mindful of the key dates. The other things that you want to do is uh, make sure you're regularly communicating and addressing and looking at the performance of your SKUs. Um, see what that listing looks like, how it's performing. And um, if you find that they're performing well, find out additional ways to uh, contact those customers and see if you can provide them any cross-selling, even um, uh, additional promos to drive them back to your uh, storefront, for example, and that's why post-purchase is a, such a great option uh, for those folks. And so um, you want to be also mindful of those things as well. Okay. So, hey, Mark, it's uh, Al Rorio. just had a question from my end. So as a seller, like, you know, as a merchant, like, what would be like you know the payment options and uh, when would I get paid for the items that are sold? Mm -hmm. So essentially, we process uh, within net 15 after the order is confirmed, and um, basically it's going to let's say you get an order, you should be you should expect to get paid within the net 15 after it's invoiced, and so um, and that gets paid out. Um, every Wednesday, so that's, you should be able to see that weekly, for example, if, um, but like, for example, if you get an order now, then you'll see, you'll see that payment within the next 15. And then if you, if you are looking to uh, get that set up, you can work with your category manager, they can see what a solution they can uh, do for you. But essentially, it's every, every week, essentially. Okay, that's that's perfect. And uh, just another question for all our sellers is like, you know, what what is the best category of products that you could suggest? Like, okay, you know? good. So one thing here is, honestly, you can 
Newegg is broad enough and we've expanded into a, a lot of different categories where now sellers anywhere from the general merchandise, whether that's the smart home automation, the home improvement, the small home appliance, those are all up for grabs um, on Newegg because we found that more and more sellers are, or more and more customers um, excuse me, are looking for those products as we're promoting them earlier um, to bring um, exposure. Anything with tech focus, obviously, with the consumer electronics and computer hardware emphasis, that will do well. Um, if you're looking at even um, the drones or even um, toys that have tech uh, embedded, um, that's another area where we're finding growth as well. We're seeing even uh, smart watches still in the market and they're still doing well. cell phones, Apple products. Um, really, there's a lot to cover, even within the car electronics space. We're seeing automotive grow uh, tremendously this year, and so we're seeing more and more customers asking for those kind of products. So I think the best way um, is get in touch with us and then let us know what you're, uh, what you're looking for, uh, what you're selling, and then what we can do then is say, okay, this is what the growth has been like, and um, we can start working out and picking out certain SKUs and products that you want to list, and then um, go from there. Okay, that that's perfect. Yeah, thank you so much for your answer, Mark. So over to you once again. All right. So again, like I mentioned, um, if you have any additional questions, feel free to email us here. Um, you include that in the subject line. I don't have any other uh, questions here. Um, and then for holiday selling tips, refer to the microsite. We're always uh, publishing different types of content. If you're looking to um, even opt into Elite, that's within our homepage and you'll get more details there. One thing I do want to know, note for each of you is if you are interested in even um, if you're managing your domestic orders here and you find success, you can test some of those um, products within the global uh, markets as well. And we can help you um, set up that infrastructure if you're looking to go um, global and selling cross-border as well, because that is something that we are offering um, as, uh, during this time frame. So again, I want to thank the uh, channel sales team uh, for just inviting me uh, to speak. Uh, feel free again to reach out to us and even give us feedback on the webinar looking for additional um, material, we'll be happy to help you. Um, so again, thank you for the channel sales team, um, and that concludes the, uh, today's webinar. Hey, thanks Mark for your kind words, and thank you everyone for being a part of this webinar. If you do have any additional questions, you can drop us an email on info at channelsale.com. I'll repeat info at channelsale.com and we'll get back to you at the earliest. Take care guys and you all have a great day ahead. Bye bye. Bye bye.